Are you preparing for an ETL testing interview? This video is designed to help you be fully prepared. We've compiled a list of the top 25 questions typically asked in these interviews, along with comprehensive answers. 1. What is ETL testing and why is it important? ETL testing is the process of validating, verifying, and qualifying data while preventing duplicate records and data loss. It ensures that the transformed data is loaded correctly into the target system. ETL testing is important for analysis, forecasting, decision-making, and reporting. It helps in maintaining and improving data quality, which in turn provides accurate and reliable data to end-users. 2. Explain the three-layer architecture of an ETL cycle. The three-layer architecture of an ETL cycle consists of Source layer. This is the layer where the data originates. It can come from various sources like flat files, weblogs, CRM systems, etc. Staging layer. Here, data is cleaned and validated through a series of transformations. The data is also reconciled against the source systems to ensure no data is lost during extraction. Target layer. This is the final destination where the transformed, cleaned, and validated data is loaded. It is generally a data warehouse or a data mart. 3. What are the steps involved in the ETL testing process? The steps involved in the ETL testing process include understanding data requirements. This involves understanding the source of data, the data flow, and the final output requirements. Data acquisition. Extracting data from various sources and loading it into the staging area. Implementation of business rules. This involves the transformation of data according to specific business requirements. Loading of transformed data. The cleaned, validated, and transformed data is loaded into the target system. Validation. The final step is to validate the data in the target system to ensure its accuracy. 4. What are the steps involved in the ETL testing process? The ETL testing process involves numerous steps. Firstly, the testing team verifies the business requirements and the data design. Then, the team validates the source data and its extraction, ensuring that all necessary data is extracted from the source correctly. After this, the data transformation rules are checked making sure the data is transformed correctly according to business rules and loaded into a data warehouse. Then, the team will validate data loading, ensuring that the data is loaded into the data warehouse without any data loss and with data integrity. The team then performs system, integration, and user acceptance tests. Throughout this process, the testing team performs data checks at every stage to ensure data accuracy and integrity. 5. Describe the difference between manual testing and ETL testing. Manual testing refers to the process where software testers manually execute test cases without using any automation tools. It is a labor-intensive activity that requires the tester's attention to detail, patience, and time. Manual testing can be used to check the functionality of the application, find bugs and other software issues. ETL testing differs significantly from manual testing. ETL testing focuses on ensuring data accuracy, integrity, and consistency across various data sources. On the contrary, Manual testing is more about checking an application's functionality and finding software bugs or issues. Manual testing requires meticulous execution of test cases, often without the aid of automation tools. It demands detail-oriented work, patience, and time from the tester. 6. What are the primary responsibilities of an ETL tester? ETL testers have several key duties. First and foremost, they are in charge of validating the data sources, extraction of data, applying transformation logic, and loading the data into the target tables. They must also ensure that the data extraction and loading processes are functioning as expected. On top of that, they need to verify the accuracy of data transformation, the correctness of data that are loaded into the data warehouse, and the integrity of the data. They must regularly conduct data checks to prevent any data loss. ETL testers are also responsible for writing SQL queries for various scenarios to validate the data and check for any discrepancies. They must document all their test results and work closely with the team to resolve any issues that arise. They need to be proficient in ETL tools and have a good understanding of the data model, data flow, and ETL architecture. Essentially, the main role of an ETL tester is to ensure the quality and integrity of the data throughout the ETL process. 7. What is data reconciliation in ETL testing? Data reconciliation in ETL testing pertains to the process of validating the data extracted from the source system with the data present in the target system post-transformation. This process ensures that all data has been transferred correctly and accurately thereby maintaining data integrity. Data reconciliation is crucial as it rectifies data discrepancies, identifies missing data, and fixes any data inconsistencies. It's an essential step to ensure that the data transferred via ETL processes is accurate and reliable for further use. In data reconciliation, a tester may use various techniques such as row counts, data profiling, or SQL queries. 
They compare the data before and after the ETL process to ensure that no data is lost or altered during the transformation. The process is critical in maintaining the robustness and reliability of the data warehouse, as it ensures that the data is accurate, consistent, and reliable. 8. Explain the concept of Data Mart in the context of ETL. Data Mart refers to a subset of data warehouse that is designed to cater to the needs of a specific business unit or department. In the context of ETL, extract, transform, load, a data mart can be considered as the final destination where the processed data is stored for further analysis and reporting. ETL process plays a crucial role in the creation of a data mart. First, data is extracted from various sources. This data is then transformed to fit the business rules and ensure its quality and consistency. Finally, the transformed data is loaded into the data mart. Hence, ETL significantly contributes to the performance, accuracy, and relevance of data available in a data mart. 9. What are cubes in ETL testing and how are they used? Cubes in ETL testing are multidimensional arrays of data that are used for various types of analyses in a data warehouse. They are essentially a representation of data from multiple perspectives, allowing for a more detailed and thorough analysis. In ETL testing, cubes play a vital role in validating the transformation of data from the source to the target system. They are used to verify that the data has been correctly aggregated and summarized, ensuring that the results of any subsequent analysis or reporting are accurate. In addition, cubes can also be used to test the performance of the ETL process itself by measuring how quickly the data can be loaded into the cube and how efficiently queries can be executed against it. This can provide valuable insights into the efficiency and effectiveness of the ETL process. 10. What are some challenges you might face during the ETL process? One of the main challenges during the ETL process could be a lack of understanding of the data sources and their complexities. This could lead to errors during extraction and transformation, impacting the accuracy and reliability of the data. Data quality issues are another common challenge. These could be caused by missing data, inconsistencies across different sources, or errors during data entry. Lastly, ensuring data security and compliance can also be a challenge. This involves protecting sensitive data and ensuring that the ETL process complies with regulations such as GDPR. These challenges need to be effectively managed to ensure that the ETL process delivers accurate, reliable, and timely data for business analytics and decision-making. 11. Describe the role of reporting tools in ETL testing. Reporting tools play a crucial role in ETL testing as they help verify the accuracy, consistency, and reliability of the data being extracted, transformed, and loaded. These tools facilitate the validation of data at each stage of the ETL process, ensuring that data is correctly moved from source to target with no loss or corruption. They also provide visual representations of data, making it easier for testers to identify discrepancies, patterns, and trends. In addition, reporting tools can help automate the testing process, reducing the time and effort required for manual testing. One example of a reporting tool that can be used in ETL testing is Tableau, which allows testers to create interactive dashboards and reports for data analysis. Other popular tools include Power BI and ClickView, both of which offer robust data visualization and analysis capabilities. 12. What is the importance of the staging layer in ETL testing? The staging layer acts as a buffer in ETL testing, providing a place for data to be cleaned, transformed, and validated before moving into the data warehouse. It plays a crucial role in maintaining data integrity and quality. If errors occur during the ETL process, the staging layer allows for easier identification and correction of these errors, minimizing the potential impact on the data warehouse. Also, the staging layer helps in handling large volumes of data, making the extraction and loading processes more efficient. The presence of a staging layer simplifies complex transformations and facilitates the management of incremental loads. It's a vital component in ETL testing and can significantly influence the success of a data integration project. 13. What types of checks must be performed during ETL testing? During ETL testing, a variety of checks are conducted to ensure the accuracy, consistency, and reliability of data. These checks include 1. Data completeness. Verifying all expected data is loaded into the target system. 2. Data transformation. Ensuring data is correctly manipulated to suit the target system. 3. Data quality. Checking all data is accurate and valid. 4. Data integrity and consistency. Assuring the data remains unchanged during transit and the relationship between the data remains intact. 5. Performance checks. Confirming the ETL process functions within the defined time frame. By conducting these checks, ETL testers can ensure the reliability and effectiveness of the ETL process, enhancing decision-making and business intelligence. In ETL testing, various types of checks are conducted to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the data. Data completeness checks are performed to ensure that all expected data has been loaded into the target system. 
Data transformation checks are done to make sure the data is correctly manipulated to fit the target system. Data quality checks confirm that all data is accurate and valid. Data integrity and consistency checks assure that the data remains unchanged during transit and that the relationship between the data remains intact. Performance checks are also conducted to ensure that the ETL process functions within the defined timeframe. These checks are crucial for the reliability and effectiveness of ETL processes, which ultimately enhances decision-making and business intelligence. 14. Explain the two types of data integration points in ETL testing. Data integration points are critical in ETL testing as they facilitate the seamless exchange of data between different systems. There are two primary types of data integration points, batch and real-time integrations. Understanding these two types of data integration points is crucial in ETL testing, as it dictates the testing approach and strategy to be adopted. For instance, batch integration testing may involve checking if all data is correctly accumulated before processing, while real-time integration testing may focus on the immediacy and accuracy of data processing and transfer. 15. What skills are essential for an ETL tester? An ETL tester should have strong technical skills, including proficiency in SQL and scripting languages. Knowledge of ETL tools and data warehousing concepts is also necessary. They should understand data models, data mapping, and be able to construct test scenarios and test cases. In addition, they need to be adept at identifying and debugging issues, and have good problem-solving skills. Excellent communication skills, both written and verbal, are crucial for collaborating with team members and stakeholders. They should have a keen eye for detail and be able to work effectively under tight deadlines. 16. How do you ensure data quality in ETL process? To ensure data quality in the ETL process, several steps are taken. First, data profiling is performed to understand the type, structure, and quality of source data. This helps identify any potential issues early on. Second, data validation checks are implemented to verify the accuracy and completeness of the data. This includes checking for null values, data type mismatches, and incorrect or inconsistent data formats. Third, Data reconciliation is carried out to ensure that all data has been loaded correctly and no data has been lost or duplicated during the ETL process. Lastly, regular audits and reviews are conducted to evaluate the effectiveness of the ETL process and make necessary improvements. This continuous monitoring and improvement helps maintain high data quality. 17. What is the difference between fact tables and dimension tables in a data warehouse? Fact tables and dimension tables are key elements used in a data warehouse for data organization. Fact tables consist of the measurements, metrics or facts of a business process. It is located at the center of a star schema or a snowflake schema surrounded by dimension tables. On the other hand, dimension tables contain descriptive attributes, or fields, that are typically textual fields or discrete numbers that behave as text. These attributes are used as search parameters. Dimension tables are usually denormalized tables. 18. Describe some common ETL tools you have experience with. I have worked with various ETL tools throughout my career. One of them is Informatica Power Center, which is quite robust and versatile. It helps in extracting, transforming, and loading business data from various sources. Another tool I have used is Microsoft SQL Server Integration Services, SSIS. It offers a wide array of features for data integration, transformation, and migration tasks. Talend is another open source tool I have experience with. It offers functionalities for big data, cloud storage, and data quality. Lastly, I've also worked with IBM S InfoSphere Data Stage, which is known for its ability to integrate data on multiple systems and support complex transformations. 19. How do you handle data transformation errors in ETL testing? One effective way to handle data transformation errors in ETL testing is by setting up a robust error handling and logging system. This allows capturing and logging errors during the data transformation phase. An immediate alert is sent to the ETL team if any error occurs. It's critical to investigate and rectify these errors promptly to ensure data accuracy and consistency. Another strategy is to use data validation checks at different stages of the ETL process. These checks help in identifying any anomalies in the data and can prevent potential transformation errors. For instance, we can use check constraints, data type checks, or null value checks. Lastly, periodic audits and reviews of the ETL process can help in identifying any recurring data transformation errors, leading to continuous improvements in the ETL process. 20. What is data profiling and why is it important in ETL testing? Data profiling refers to the process of examining, understanding, and summarizing the data present in a data source. This process plays a crucial role in ETL testing as it helps in identifying the anomalies and inconsistencies in the data. By conducting data profiling, Testers can ensure that the data extracted from different sources is clean, consistent, and reliable. 
Furthermore, it helps in maintaining data quality throughout the ETL process. Hence, data profiling serves as a critical step in ETL testing as it directly influences the accuracy and reliability of the insights derived from the data. 21. How do you test for data consistency across different sources in ETL? To ensure data consistency across different sources in ETL, various techniques can be used. One of those includes verifying that the data count of the source and target matches after the ETL process. Another approach involves comparing random samples of data from both source and target to ensure they align. Also, checking the data type and format consistency is essential. For instance, date fields should maintain a consistent format across all data sources. Additionally, one can use specific ETL tools which provide features to automate and facilitate these checks, making the process more efficient. 22. Explain the concept of slowly changing dimensions in ETL. Slowly changing dimensions, SCDS, are an essential aspect of ETL, extract, transform, load, processes, especially when working with data warehouses. SCDS refer to dimensions that change over time, but not on a regular or frequent basis. For instance, a customer's address may change, but not daily or even monthly. These changes need to be tracked and managed to ensure that historical data is not lost or distorted. There are three types of SCDS. Type 1, where the old data is simply overridden with new data. Type 2, where a new record is added to the database to reflect the change. And Type 3, where a new column is added to the database to reflect the change. Understanding and managing SCDS is a critical aspect of maintaining the integrity and accuracy of a data warehouse. 23. How do you approach performance testing in ETL processes? Performance testing in ETL processes requires a systematic and strategic approach. Initially, understanding the system's business requirements and expected workload becomes paramount. This encompasses data volume, user count, and anticipated response times. Having gleaned this, tests are designed to mimic system conditions realistically. Diverse testing methods are employed, including load testing, which helps gauge system performance under heavy load, and stress testing that uncovers system limitations. 24. What strategies do you use for testing large volumes of data in ETL? Working with massive data sets requires a thoughtful approach due to the sheer volume and potential complexity. One efficient method is the utilization of data sampling. This involves selecting a representative subset from the entire data set for testing. It provides a reasonable understanding of the data quality without the need to process all data. An essential part of dealing with large volumes of data is automation. Automated tests can swiftly process large datasets and identify errors or inconsistencies. They also facilitate repeatable tests, which is crucial in an ETL process as data often needs to be tested multiple times under different conditions. 25. How do you ensure data security and compliance in ETL testing? Ensuring data security and compliance in ETL testing involves several steps. Firstly, testing the data in a secure environment is crucial. This means setting up firewalls, using secure networks, and creating access controls to prevent unauthorized access. Secondly, data encryption can be used both at rest and during transmission to protect sensitive information. Regular audits are also essential to ensure compliance with data regulations and standards. Additionally, compliance can also be achieved by following the guidelines set by regulatory bodies and implementing the necessary data protection measures. Testing for data breaches and vulnerabilities can further enhance security. Using secure ETL tools and platforms, which have built-in security features, can also help ensure data security and compliance. In closing, we hope this guide to the top 25 ETL testing interview questions and answers has been beneficial and has given you a deeper understanding of what might be asked during your interview. As you prepare, remember, the key to a successful interview is not only knowledge but also confidence and clarity in your answers. Please, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Best of luck with your interview preparations.